So as you can see here we're cutting in the first step using the Oster 76. To accomplish this we're alternating between clipper and comb. The Oster is taking the hair against the grain and we alternate that action with the clippers and the comb taking the hair in the opposite direction in which we're cutting. You may also prefer to use a brush here which will work just as well. As you go along, you want to monitor for um, balance and ensure that you're getting the hair nice and even. It's a bit more challenging obviously to get the back but you don't want to forget to do the alternating with the a comb or a brush. Once we finish this step, we move on to our next step. Okay, so now we're going to the wall senior clipper. The lever is adjusted so that the clipper is cutting at its longest length, and we'll turn that open. Cut in our next step at the nape. This haircut is extremely simple because throughout the haircut we are able to accomplish these two steps and even blend the steps principally without adjusting the lever on the um, wall senior clipper. So fundamentally the blend is accomplished without adjusting the lever because we are, we're using different angles on the clipper to cut more or less hair as needed to accomplish the blend.
This approach is very simple but yet effective at creating a very desirable look with a lot less steps. Now we repeat the same process at the temporal area. We cut in our first step just below the temporal vein and in front of the ear. Give a quick check for symmetry and balance, ensuring that those areas have been adequately blended. And we go to our outline of the day value. Now these tremors have been uh, adjusted for a zero overlap effect. I do not recommend this process for non-barbers. I recommend that you try clippers like the wall detailer. Um, which comes with a blade already adjusted to a zeroed out effect. It takes a lot of practice to master adjusting blades and if not adjusted properly they can be very dangerous. And even when adjusted properly or if zeroed out clippers like the Andy's Outliner which is a very powerful clipper can be still harmful if uh, appropriate pressure is not applied or um, in the hands of uh, someone who is not very experienced with clippers you can just kind of give too much pressure with clippers that are appropriately adjusted and cause lacerations, scarring, so I've tested the wall detailer and it works pretty good right out of the box for this type of 
outlining just not quite as effective so I'm a bit partial to the Andes outliner And shall I say Andis for those of you who prefer to pronounce it that way? Mastering the two mirror technique takes a little time, but here's something you want to keep in mind. When adjusting the mirror and the angle of the mirror, wait till you have the appropriate sight picture before you commence cutting. Don't be too anxious to cut. Got in the mirror just so adjusted. Ideally, when doing your outline, you want to be as conservative as possible and try and stay as true as you can to the natural outline. So in effect what we have here is a very simple executable uh, hairstyle that's very stylish but is accomplished with far fewer steps than um, similar looks. And is, however, uh, no less appealing, less uh, stylish. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Three point taper in two steps. Here we're just gonna go over the silhouette of the haircut, knocking down the straight hair, giving it a very fine finish. We're accomplishing this with a freehand technique using the Andes Master. Or Andes Master, for those of you pronounce it. Thanks for joining us. Visit our website.